Hello and welcome. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's take a look at these cards, the images and the words, and I hope they bring through some inspiration for your day. Surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Can you relate this back to your life in a certain way? Perhaps you are saying yes to a certain person or situation and it might not be the best thing to do. And you know this in your heart. You already know that perhaps you need some time away or to say no or to decline an invitation for whatever reason. Uh, but see how that resonates for you um, if you can associate it to a particular situation in your life. Surrender un unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. And so the question would be, do you feel like you are surrounded by positive people or people that are in alignment with who you are as a person on a deeper level? Not just superficially, but at that deeper level. Do you know that you have any, any, any unhealthy relationships that you might want to release, heal from? Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. And it's not that your thoughts are sabotaging anything. It's, it's about you feeling uh, so attached to something that there could be immense disappointment. You might be holding on too tightly and you're sabotaging your ability to go with the flow, um, to destroy and sabotage your own peace and harmony um, in, your, in your journey if you do this. Surrender your desire to control people. Being over-controlling can sabotage your relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So is there a situation in your life that you can relate this to? Uh, perhaps you're relating it to yourself and you can recognize and you have that self-reflection that you are being over-controlling, maybe because it's something that's um, that's something that is you're wanting to control, but it's outside of your control and you're st still trying to um, to bear down and to control the situation where acceptance might be more necessary. Or perhaps you're relating this to a person in your life who is being the controlling one. And, you know, maybe these words here, uh, they uh, they inspire you to maybe recognize a different approach or perhaps um, you're realizing that maybe it is best if you back off a situation or regroup. The tiger. Are you being called upon to provide leadership? Do you want to provide leadership? Is this in your work or perhaps in your own personal life or with your own self? You're wanting to provide leadership in a way to improve your own life. Uh, you, you might be also doubting yourself um, and maybe there is some reflection and a true assessment of a situation that needs to happen. Um, the best thing to do might be to trust that you are capable of doing this, um, providing this leadership in whatever circumstance this is for you. The domestic cat. It's time to strike out on your own. Does this resonate in some way? Do you feel that you are ready to strike out, meaning that you're wanting to take action on something? And maybe even relinquish your over-dependency on others. Is that a thing right now? Are you um, codependent in, in a way that is unhealthy or toxic? Is it better to be independent right now?
the snow leopard. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. So is there a need for solitude? Is there a need to let go, to release and to calm down your nervous system? Is it too hyped up? Is there a need for you to just slow down a little bit and spending some time in solitude might help with this? Um, What do you think? There might be something good, a great blessing, a miracle you don't expect that can come out of solitude, being alone, uh, not having anyone else around at the moment. The dog, loyalty, faithfulness. Is your loyalty, is your faithfulness, is it in the right place with the right person or not? This this card, um, these words might be a prompt for um, an evaluation of this. What does the dog mean for you? Could this be speaking to your heart about a precious pet? We have the dog and the cat here. So we have, uh, we might have an association. You might associate this with your own animals that you care for and you love. Life isn't always easy, but a positive attitude mixed with prayer and gratitude will determine how quickly we overcome difficulties. And this is true, although it can be very difficult to maintain a positive attitude all the time, especially when we're trying to overcome difficulties. But perhaps this is the best course of action, even if you can just start to think a little bit more positively about the situation that might be bothering you. There might even be a silver lining or a great blessing in disguise here. Live by faith, not by fear. Know in your heart and soul that God gave you the ability and courage to carry out great plans. So do you have plans? Is there an association with these words in terms of planning, preparing for something? Do you know in your heart that this will, well, this planning will work out and it's right for you to go down this path? Do you have courage? Do you need more courage? Are you living by faith and not by fear? Forgive others, even when you don't think they deserve it. You deserve the peace that comes from forgiveness. And forgiveness is not about the other person at all. It's actually about ourselves. It's about allowing ourselves to heal and to let go and to and to truly forgive in our hearts and it's not just a one one time thing either you know sometimes forgiveness takes many times of forgiveness for the one situation or toward the one person but it's very healing for ourselves and perhaps this is what you need what do you think what does this uh speak to you about in your life. Let music lift you up and fill your heart with joy. Is music a part of your life? Are you being called to play music or listen to music at the moment, a certain style of music, for example? This might just be a beautiful inspiration for you to allow yourself to relax and listen to some music that you love. So fill your heart with joy to do something that you enjoy doing. Union. So we have a union or a partnership. Togetherness, connectedness. Is there a connectedness that you want or have with someone important in your life? Are you wanting a union between yourself and someone or something? Is there a desire for a union? A partnership, a handshake, a deal, a contract, something like this. 
And if so, does this image here give you any sort of inspiration toward how to allow that, how to go after that? This person here has a lot of beautiful jewels on, a lot of beauty. And so perhaps there is a union in your life which you're recognizing as being very beautiful for you. New beginnings. Are you starting a new beginning at the moment? How does this resonate for you? How is this an association to your life? There's a, an embracing here of this beautiful new child. There's growth and development and love. This new beginning seems to be a really good thing. I'm associating this image with a beautiful new start. Is that how you see it too? And wisdom. So we have the owl on the shoulder here representing the wise owl. So is your own innate inner wisdom or maybe even wisdom from past experiences telling you something? Perhaps you're living your life differently now because of learned experiences. And you can see when you can see a mile off if some if there are red flags or things that you don't want to repeat in your life because of this wisdom and innocence beautiful children again so innocence newness freshness seeing things with purity um not with any sort of bias or uh, judgment seeing things more purely Communicating in a way that is more honest with yourself, perhaps. Perhaps things have become just too complicated in your life, mentally, emotionally, or situationally, and it's good to just remove the baggage and just come back to this, this uh, simplicity. A splendid torch, bra uh, blaze brightly. So there's a bright, beautiful light here. You might be wanting to uh, shine. This is what I'm seeing. There's a beautiful blazing brightly. So you're wanting to shine in some way. Mm. You're wanting to put yourself out there in a new way, new beginnings, new way of doing things new situations perhaps and you're really on track to put your best foot forward. Where does the new call boldly express your uniqueness? And so just being uniquely you, just being comfortable with yourself and what you're expressing is awesome and this card, the the words and even the image, you know, might inspire you to have a bit more confidence in yourself or your situation. Maybe something will come to mind that will help you with that confidence. Stand up and be recognized. Behold, you are the inspiration you've been looking for. Yeah, so standing up, being recognized, standing out, you know, it does uh, seem very similar to blazing brightly, um, putting yourself out there in a positive light, standing up, not staying still or being silent and being recognized for your skills, attributes, love, commitment. What do you associate this with in your life? Well, you live a time. Your charge is to enlarge. So becoming bigger and brighter and better through your lived experiences. Are you having a wonderful time at the moment, a whale of a time, a big time, a good time? Are you planning for that in the future? Maybe it's a trip, a holiday, getting away. Good 
Could this be something to inspire you to make a situation more like this? Some situation might not be as uh, developed as you would like, um, or might not be as positive as you would like. And so maybe this is giving you an inspiration of what to do to improve it. You are invited. Suit up, show up and open up. Opening up to newness, new situations perhaps. Suiting up, doing something official um, and showing up. Getting out there and doing. Perhaps you are invited to something. What do you associate with that? In the castle of dreams. Become altered by the color of your dreams. So what is your dream? What is your vision? Do you feel at the moment very comfortable and knowing that it is meant to be? You feel a calling for something? Are you establishing your vision, your dream, where you want to go, what you want to do, how you want to be? How is your inner life? What does that mean for you? And what changes need to be implemented that are within your control to allow it to open up and to become reality? With the word altered here, perhaps things have changed recently. Perhaps that is something that you associate with your own life. You can resonate with perhaps there is a been a change of plans and you're just adjusting to, to things. And now you're re-envisioning a dream or a plan or your future in some way. It's been wonderful to go on this journey with you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.